What's up? We're back today with another video, and I have a package from Hot Topic. So we have a new package today from Hot Topic. You won't believe what it is, and I'm excited to show you guys what it is. So before we get into today's videos, once you do a couple quick things, one, hit that like button, and make sure you hit that subscribe button, and follow me through all these adventures. Anyway, today we want to stop that Hot Topic and pick up something I ordered to ship to store. Now, someone's going to ask, why did you ship it to the store? You should quickly get to your house, blah, blah, blah. Yes, I waited almost 10 days to get to the store. But I've had really bad luck with Hot Topic sending stuff to my house. One, damage. Two, the laser ship that they use completely ships it to the wrong address. They, like, they dropped off two packages at the wrong address. Like, I don't know how they do it. They have managed to drop off two packages at the wrong address. And one, um, I know what I lost two items out of because um, it was, they were Hot Topic exclusives and they sold out. And when I said, hey, I never got my package, they're like, oh, well, we're out of two of the items. We'll just refund you for the items and you'll get the other two items you ordered. I was not thrilled about that. And I was like, well, I used Hot Cash. They're like, oh, here's some Hot Cash to make up for it. Whatever. So that kind of annoyed me. And um, I received damaged packages from them. And I've heard Hot Topics going cheap and started sending collectibles in bags. Why? Why would you send a Funko Pop in a bag? Like, it should always be in a box in a sort of no matter what. But if you just take a Funko Pop and throw it in a bag, it's asking for a lot of damage. So, I ship to store because 99% of the time it comes in a box. Um, I've never had not come in a box and it always takes longer, but it seems to be the best way to get my pop or my collectible in the best possible condition. And shipping's free, so that's a plus. Anyway. Let's show you today what today's item is, and I am excited to show you guys. This is an item that I am excited to add to my collection. Um, take off all this paper and stuff, and guess what it says? Sorter. Sort. I don't know if you can see that. They called that a sorter. They called this box that isn't a sorter and collectible. Handle with care. But it does say sorter. This is not a sorter. What this is in is not a sorter. This is the box that the item comes in, but whatever hot topic you you do you you do you so let's open this up and i'll show you guys what today's collectible is you know i didn't realize there was so much tape on this so let's uh where, where does the tape end there we go found the end of the tape so today we added the new ghastly to our collection it is the hot topic release limited to 575 pieces of emo ghastly Boom. Yes, it's a five hot topic release. Uh, and 575 pieces. If you find these on the secondary market, there are <coughs> there are um, non hot topic release stickers on them because uh, Mischief Toys did release some to um, on their website because Hot Topic apparently screwed this up. So let's look at all the details in the box. Probably should turn this way so you guys can see all the lovely details in the box. Let's just do it this way, I guess. I don't know which way I'm going. But I, this is apparently their first new mold. Check out the basket back of the box. Actually, I think this is the first one I've seen that says uh, Made in China with the uh, Mischief Toys uh, address on it. I think that's kind of cool. So, good for you guys for getting a Hot Topic release out. And we open the box and we have more heartbreak. More heartbreak. So here's the inside of the box for you guys who have never seen the inside of a ghastly box. That's the inside of the box. I think this might be the first one that the ghastly on the inside is not the ghastly on the box. Usually, usually they put that ghastly inside. Yeah, it's all the designs around the outside again. And let's unveil emo ghastly together the top that is not the top this is the top ready three two one there's the emo ghastly look at him look how he looks all in his epicness like I said, this is their first new mold that they've done of ghastly and i absolutely love it the earring the horn ring the horning, <laughs> the horning, uh, the hair, the emo hair, 
the paint job with his piercings and his lips. Let me show you this. His shirt, his broken heart right there. And you know, of course, can't forget the ripped jeans. Ripped jeans and the shoes. He's wearing shoes in this one. And there's the mischief to his logo in the bottom. But there you go. Emo Gasly. Isn't he awesome? He is such a cool piece. He's a, definitely a different mold. I hope, um, I'm pretty sure they do, but I'd love to see more new molds because stuff like this is fun. This is fun. Like, I have black metal. Like, you guys see it right here. Boom. He was a high number count. This is a high number count, technically. And then the Pride Gasly that's up there is also a high number count. But I absolutely love this guy. How sexy up there. See? Like, he stands well. He, he feels like he should stand not well but he stands pretty well he just feet feel kind of weird as the mold but he stands great so let me put him up on the box boom there you go boom ah he fell because I am you know what I'm looking at this this is probably why it looks weird to me so his hill on this back one is like cockeyed you can kind of, kind of see it Looks like he has it out of the heels, kind of cockeyed. That's fine. I don't really care. He's gonna go all my collection anyway. He's an awesome mold, and Mr. Toy knocked it out of the park again with his collection. Now I got a story for you guys about what happened with this guy. So they were supposed to release this guy on Hot Topic's website at noon, the day it dropped. Well, Hot Topic did a Hot Topic thing, which, and they put it on <clears throat> the website as a preload, and. It was found. It was found via program, bot, human. I don't really know. Somebody found it. Somehow it was found. And this is common when things get preloaded on the websites. There's usually bots that will find the item that was preloaded. And it was found. And instead of saying sold out or unavailable or anything like that, it was available for purchase. So people purchased it. So all night long after midnight, people were telling, you know, Mischief Toys, you know, hey, by the way, it's up. It's ever for sale. Um, this is the first, you know, release. They were excited to uh, have it happen. Emails was going out. It's gonna be on the website. Yada yada yada. But it went up for sale. So they were they were making phone calls and messaging and stuff like that to be like, hey, what's going on? This wasn't supposed to be up yet. And like, hey, you know, we'll take care of it, whatever. And well, odds are they never did. So I passed on it at first. I was like, okay, I'm my wife's probably just gonna cancel it anyway if I try. So I'm not going to do it. Got closer and closer to noon. I saw a restock of it. I said, you know what? I'm not chancing anymore. I'm just going to buy it. Um, I bought it. And my order went through. And it shipped to the store. As you can clearly tell. And, um, yeah. So, they were holding, They were going to hold off on some that they had in store. I don't know how many of these 575 are actually in Hot Topic. They will not tell us. Nobody knows. Only they know how many they sent to Hot Topic for a pre-sale. So, noon came. Email went out. Was check out this collectible. Website had him on on new collectibles. And as soon as you clicked it, it said he was sold out. So, I feel bad for Mischief Toys because they wanted to use Hot Topic to bring new customers. And instead, since Hot Topic messed up, their loyal customers were the ones that found them early and grabbed them. And made sure they were able to add the collection. And because of all that, Bitship Toys won. Here's the rest of my stock going up on a website, pin bundle, stuff like that. And here you go. Um, yeah, don't get me wrong, the stickers, the pins and stuff are great and all, but me personally as a collector, I wanted to I wanted the item with their first hot topic, any big name retail logo store on it. Um I should go get the other one. I wonder if it's still available. The Maryland Gasly. I don't know. I haven't been really the biggest. I'm not. I'm not from Maryland, so it doesn't. I don't. Doesn't have the, I don't have connections with it. But it was another store collab that they did that somehow didn't go right. So you know, mischief six six six. I know. I hear you know. I'll show you the address again on the back of the box. That six 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 and mischief toys probably has a lot to play on the fact that they are having all these issues when it comes to collabs. Um, is there like third collab that's gone wrong? I, I don't know. But anyway, Mischief Toys, you guys are killing it. Uh, Valentine's Day Demonstro was just shipped, physically shipped today. I'm excited to get that. I have that one coming. And I love these figures. I usually do not buy stuff from 
YouTubers. I'm not going to lie. I don't normally buy stuff from YouTubers. Like, it's something I don't buy. But I was like, I kind of like the 1.5 gas leaks. So I'll buy them. I bought them. And, well, let's see. What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Is that 15 gas leaks? 16, counting the Monstro? <sighs> yeah, my wallet. It's just toys. You're killing my wallet. But I love these guys. And, honestly... I know they cost the price of like three Funkos, but yeah, they cost on average you're paying about the price of three to four Funkos for a Gasly. They're smaller, they're limited, and they're awesome. And honestly, I've been enjoying them, and I know a lot of other people have. Check out mischieftoys.com. Check out their Instagram. All their information will be below. Check out their Facebook. Check out just check out the Gasly cast. They're the people that own them. Heather and Chris. Check check out their YouTube. Oh my gosh. They're doing things. They're doing things right. And I know a lot of toy companies are excited to see what they had had. Um, they decide right now they're not going to do anything else with Hot Topic for now because of what happened. But Hot Topic apparently wants them to do stuff again. So we'll, we'll, we'll see what they decide to do in the future. Um, I would love to see these guys pop up in stores. I'm just saying. Um, Abominable Toys. Got some stuff from stores. I have one uh, Hobby Database one here. But I got a couple behind me that... I've showed you guys that were in stores, so I'd love to see more stuff get in, get in the store. So anyway, I, yeah, he's awesome. I don't, I don't got anything else to say about it. He's such a cool piece. I love the look. So he's going to go hang out with Black Metal Ghastly, and I, I would love to see more. Um, honestly, I would like to see, uh, me not be my cup of music. I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, Hip Hop Ghastly. What am I saying? Country Ghastly. Hairband Ghastly. Music line Ghastly just seem like these would, this would work. I'm just saying. Just saying. Can you imagine Hip Hop Ghastly with his gold teeth? <laughs> just, just to say. This one he has no teeth, but Hip Hop Ghastly would definitely have gold teeth. And baggy jeans. Yep. Anyway, he's really cool. So, anyway. Make sure you check it. Check it out. Check out MrChipToys.com. And until next time, take it easy, guys. Have a good one.